Hey everyone, welcome to the video. If you're a subscriber, this is going to be a little bit different, but if you clicked on this video, you probably have a similar problem as I do. I just bought this house, and apparently this is a common problem where the AC blows really hard on one side of the house, usually in the upstairs area, but is weak in other rooms. You can see the first room was blowing at about 7.2 meters, whereas this room and uh, this specific room, this is the problem room, are blowing at one point something or even less. I can't even get this one to read uh, one meter per second. So I was looking for solutions and I found these guys, which are register booster fans. And you know, I was told from some people that these won't work and I would need like fifteen to twenty thousand dollars of uh, proper rebuilding of the ductwork. Um, but I actually have some interesting data to show you that these do work. And you can see I've installed one here. And uh, that previous measurement, which I just showed in this problem room, uh, was with the booster off. So you can see I've, I've wired up a smart outlet here that will automatically turn on when my home automation system detects that the um, AC or heater is active and cool or heat the room, uh, whatever the HVAC system is doing more efficiently. Now, you don't have to, um, well, you, you, you have to have an outlet. This is a powered device, but you don't have to have a smart outlet. Uh, one thing that, that is cool about these guys is they've got a little controller and if you just have them always powered on, you can activate this thermo thermocouple, which will detect if your HVAC is cooling or heating and turn the fans off and on automatically with its own internal logic that you can program uh, with the interface here. However, that's not the way I'm using it. Uh, what's nice about these guys is you can set it to a constant speed. So I just max mine out to level 10 and if it loses power and power comes back, it remembers that last setting. So you can actually just toggle power to it like I'm doing with the smart outlet and it will remember the last setting you left it on and you can just leave it in this like constant on, constant off mode. Uh, so now let's go take a look at the wind speed measurement of this when it's turned on and then I will show you the data from uh, this room using those thermometers I built in the previous video to compare how much colder this room gets uh, when this is on versus when it's off on two back-to-back -back days that were like the identical outdoor temperature profile. Uh, I think it hit like 94, 95 uh, on both days, same weather pattern. So it's, it was actually a really controlled test and I think you'll find the results interesting. Okay, so now the booster is on and we can see immediately the difference. We're hitting almost three meters per second and uh, I should note that I've added this uh, deflection guard so the air blows inside the room. So here we have the data and I want you to focus on the purple line, which is the problem room. So the first day, which yes, was actually last year, I've been sitting on this data for a while. <laughs> um, the first day the booster was off and you can see that the thermometers are recording sort of the on off cycles. That's the oscillating pattern in the data as the AC kicks on and off every like 20 minutes or so. Uh, and you can see in the purple line, which I said is the the problem room, the temperature was rising. No matter if the AC was on or off, the room was just heating up throughout the day. And by the end of the day, um, it was over 80 degrees and it's just kind of unbearable. Um, but you can see in the master and that other green room, um, even though the green room is not blowing as hard as the master, they are being cooled. Um, that could be because the, the green room is, uh, quite small. So anyway, fast forward to the following day, 
and you can see what a massive difference this is where I had the booster enabled. So again, the booster is toggling on and off with the AC. Um, not that it has to, I just don't like the noise uh, if I don't need the noise. Um, it's not super loud, but you can hear it. Uh, you can see it's just a massive difference. The room stayed uh, around the same temperature as the other two rooms. So um, whoever says these don't work maybe has uh, some issue with their installation. Um, not sure, not sure why, but I think these work really well. And I'm going to put a link to purchase the same one I have in the video description. Uh, this is not a sponsored video at all. I was just really happy with how this worked and wanted to make this video to show you, uh, as well as kind of highlight how those, uh, again, those thermometers that I made in a previous video can be uh, really useful for tracking these kind of trends. So uh, that's all for this one. Hope you enjoyed, and let me know if you buy one and it works out for you. Thank you.